Parshas Tetzave. It says in the Pesach, Shmois Chav Ches, Pesach Aleph. Va'ato hakrei ve'lecho es arei nechicha ve'es bona vitai mitoch b'nei Yisrael l'cha hanei li. It says in the Pesach that after the Mishkan was finished, um, Hashem said to Moshe, Hakre Velecho es Aaron Ochicha, bring close to you your brother Aaron and his children, Lachahanili, that they may be the Kohanim to uh, minister in the Mishkan. That's the simple. So Medrash has a new a new take on this. The Madrish is in the Bereshis Shmeis Raba Shmeis Raba Lamed Zayin Beis that the Bereshit told Moshe Rabbeinu to be Makarev Haron. In other words, it seems that that Moshe Rabbeinu was distance, distancing, distancing himself from Aaron. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Be makar of him. Bring him close to you. Now why was he distancing, why was Moshe Rabbeinu distancing himself from his brother Aaron? So the Medrash says that when Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai, and he saw Vro Yisrael Ba'isa Maisa. He saw he saw Klai, he saw the, the people of Klai Yisrael were were making a golden calf. And he saw the Aaron Hoyamaki Shalov Bakunis. Aaron was banging on the um, on the eagle, on the calf, the golden calf with a, with a hammer, sort of finishing touches. And the truth was that for who Aaron learned this covenant ever the Akvam Ache Yoyre Ache Yered Moshe Moshe Aaron was not really part of that. He, Aaron, the, the, least, the last thing in the world he wanted was for this to be an ego. But he was stalling. He was he only was Miss Kavan to to take part in it until. Until Moshe Rabbeinu would come down, but Moshe Choshad, Moshe suspected she Aaron hoyo shutef imohen. Aaron, Moshe Rabbeinu suspected that Aaron was partners, was part of it with them. Ad she Amalei Akolish Baruchu she Kavanosei shall Aaron hoyo that shall until Akolish Baruchu came along to Moshe Rabbeinu and said that. Be makarif, be makarif, Aaron. Bring him close to you, because shekavanosay shall Aaron, because the intention of Aaron was only for good. It was only trying to stall them. That, um, um, that if he would, if he would do so, if, if he, he would do it slowly, and he would, uh, he, he whatever he would do, he, he made a mizbeach. Also. He, sh- he wanted only he should do the Mizbech because he was afraid if everybody will make the Mizbech it will go quicker and they'll, they'll worship an idol and he was trying to stall it and that's what the message says kivain ela la'akvon. he was only trying to, to, to delay them until Moshe Rabbeinu came that's what it says in the Medrash and the question is it's a very puzzling question the question is, how? There's, there's such a halacha, chiyuv di araisa. There's an obligation of the Torah. But tzedek tishpoit You have to, you have to, you have to be dan the kafschus. You have to judge people favorably. You don't judge judge people the um, kafchoiva uh, that 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 he's doing something wrong. And, and even even Chazal tells uh, cases. 
where a righteous person was, it's even far-fetched to think that he was innocent. But, but we're, we're not allowed to suspect him. Um, we're not allowed to suspect him, even if it's far-fetched that he's innocent. We're not allowed to, um, to, to, to be done, judge him with Kavchayva. So surely here, Moshe Rabbeinu, the great Chochem, that this is a very, very smart person. And Aaron was such a tzaddik. Aaron was an incredible tzaddik. To, to, for, for such a wise person, such a smart person like Moshe Rabbeinu, to suspect such a tzaddik as Aaron, and even though he saw him with the hammer, but he should have uh, been done him the kavs chus, that, that, because it's, it's not far-fetched. It's not far-fetched to think that Aaron was trying to delay, using delaying tactics. So that's the first question. How did Moshe Rabbeinu suspect, the wise Moshe Rabbeinu suspect such a tzaddik like, like Aaron? Another uh, question. We see, we know the sequence of events was that uh, first there was the Chetu Egal, and then there was the Binyan Mishkan. We see that, if, that since the Rabbeinu Shlodom told Moshe Rabbeinu um, to be Makarev, to bring Aaron, be Makarev Aaron, it seems if, it's, that since the Rabbeinu Shlodom told uh, Moshe Rabbeinu to be Makarev Aaron after, after the Binyan Abba Mishkan, As, as Rashi says, after Mishkan is finished, um, bring him close, be makar of him, don't be marachik him, don't distance yourself from him. Because I am telling you, Rabbi Nishlam says, I am telling you that Kavanasa Lutoiva, Aaron's intentions were all good. So the question is, we see that not only as the Medrash starts, that when Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai and he saw Aaron Hoyomakish Olof Bakurnus, he saw that um, that Aaron was 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 banging on the eagle with a hammer. Not only then was was Moshe Rabbeinu suspect. Whether well, was did, did Moshe Rabbeinu suspect Aaron? But even after the Chetu Egel, and even after the Binyan Mishkan. Um, this was not Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai way before there was such time now there was time for Moshe Rabbeinu to get over to get over that Aaron Aaron first of all probably vindicated himself and told uh, Moshe Rabbeinu all the reasons that he that he um, that he was helping them with the Mishkan just to, to delay everything but we see from here that not only when the when Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai uh, and he saw Aaron uh, Makish Bakurnas, he saw him uh, banging on the ego on the golden calf with the hammer. But even afterwards, way afterwards, Moshe Rabbeinu still had in his heart against Aaron that because the, when the Rabbeinu Shalom said be Makar of Aaron this was way after this was after the Chet Egel and after the uh, Binyan Amishkan was all finished already and now now uh, the, the, the Moshe Rabbeinu that the Hashem is saying to Moshe Hakrev as Aaron so we see that it, it, even, even after all that time passed Aaron probably vindicated himself and also it's uh, it, it's a long time. Moshe Rabbeinu, with all his wisdom, and Aaron Sitkas should should have uh, should have not suspected Aaron anymore. But we see from here the Musar Haskel how difficult it is to be done somebody the kavschus to judge somebody favorably, and over here. An additional factor possibly could be that that the reason that Moshe Rabbeinu continuously 
even after such a lapse of time, continuously, Hoyotina Belibay, there was something in his heart against Aaron. Possibly the reason was because the first impression that a person makes that Aaron that he the first impression that he had about Aaron that Aaron was 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 part of the um, part of the ego it's hard to remove a first impression and that's why Moshe Rabbeinu even after a lapse of time even not only when he not only when he saw Aaron banging on the ego with the hammer but even after that even after even if the Chet Ego was first, then the Binyan Mishkan, the whole time of the Binyan Mishkan was time that passed, that Moshe Rabbeinu could have, could have figured out the truth, and especially Aaron probably was, was misnatzel, Aaron was probably defending himself, and, and still, the Rabbeinu Shalom, after the Mishkan was finished, the Rabbeinu Shalom said, bring, bring, bring Aaron close to you, bring him, bring Makar of him. All that time, it was, Within the heart of Moshe against Aaron for building an ego, for, for making an ego. See how very hard it is to be done, to be to judge, judge somebody favorably, and possibly the reason is because because the first impression when when Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai and he saw Aaron banging with a cornice uh, with, with a hammer on 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 the on the on the ego that first impression was hard to, to, to eradicate from himself even though he was he was definitely trying to eradicate it because but said it's a chiv of the Torah it's an obligation of the Torah to to judge somebody favorably so surely Moshe Rabbeinu was, was trying to, to eradicate from his heart any, 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 any wrong that Aaron did and still that first impression overpowers everything so what we have to learn from this as a Musar Haskel that we have to work on ourselves and try our best to judge people favorably to judge people with Kaf's Chus and and but said that Tishpaitamisecha, we should all be zeicher to this. Amen. V'yamein.